Jesus said, whoever is angry at his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the council. Whoever says to his brother, you fool, shall be in danger of hell fire. That, that's not a magic word, but he's saying basically whoever kills a person's dignity by their words, it's the same as murder, literal murder. When you call, it's the same thing as saying, whosoever shall I say to the black person, you fucking nigger. That shall be in danger of hellfire. That that's what that verse about the fool is talking about. To murder someone is the murder. The the you, no one wakes up and says, "Oh, I'm going to kill somebody today." It starts in here and here, where thought crimes originate. Matt Dill, honey. But Aaron Ra, Matt Dill, honey. Inspiring philosophy, you're supposed to be a Christian. You have killed me. My dignity. And I pray God avenge me on you. I want to see you die slowly. I, I, no, I just want to see you die of cancer. For how you have killed my personality. You have killed my spirit. By ignoring me. By not speaking to me. Addressing my concerns. Inspiring philosophy, you're supposed to be a Christian. You're supposed to love your fellow believers. But you're, you'd rather gallivant for filthy lucre's sake and debate with an atheist for views on YouTube. But when I ask you, who I'm a nobody, ask you to do a exchange of ideas, you refuse to do it because you don't love me, you don't love a fellow believer, and doing so would not make you some money. For filth of Lucas' sake, the Bible Paul warns about. Don't do it for filth of Lucas' sake, which is what you're doing. I bet you got thousands and thousands of dollars you make on your YouTube videos. And you want to keep making money with the videos. You don't want to help somebody who really needs it. So I pray that you and Aaron Ra die for having killed my dignity. You killed me. And I'm angry. I demand justice. I want. I want justice. I want. I want you guys to die at the hands of God. I want God. To, I wish God. I pray God strikes you both down with cancer for not giving me a chance to be heard. When you know that I, this is what I really need, but you neither one of you love me enough as a human being or a fellow believer. So I, quite frankly. If you don't repent, I wouldn't mean, I don't really I want to burn in hell forever and ever, but hey, if it happens because you killed me, that's your fucking fault. You, you loveless bastard son of a bitches. I wanted to talk to inspiring philosophy about how God is three in one, and I wanted to, to him, ha have him view my video, but he won't do it. He doesn't care about a uh, fellow Christian nobody. But he'll go out to dinner with Aaron Ra. Don't you know the Bible says, Have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. Be not unequally yoked with unbelievers. But you'd rather do a video and smooze and buddy-buddy and ham it up with those atheists who are enemies of Jesus Christ. And you'll say, Have a good day. Against the admonition of John, do not wish him God's feet, for he that wishes him God's feet is partaken of his evil deeds. You lukewarm Christian, you hypocrite, you have no love in your soul, inspiring philosophy. And I have to question whether you're really saved or not, since you don't since you don't know how to fucking love. And if you're not saved, I want to see you burn in hell alongside Aaron Ra. Hey, you spent all your time on Earth with Aaron Ra. Now go spend all your time in the Lake of Fire with Aaron Ra.